WABG, the Delta's leading news source. Let's see on the ABC 6 News webcast, I'm Tanya Carter on this Monday, January 7, 2013. Well, noted oncologist Dr. Arnold Smith is not fit to stand trial and should be hospitalized. The Greenwood Commonwealth reporting Smith's legal team filing that statement in LaFleur County Circuit Court last week from a psychologist finding the 70-year-old unable to adequately defend himself against charges in an alleged murder-for-hire plot. Now, Hines County Circuit Court Judge Breland Hilburn taking the motion under advisement, requesting the the court should send Smith to a mental hospital for treatment and also a motion from prosecutors to have Smith examined by doctors at the Mississippi State Hospital at Whitfield. Now, Smith is charged with capital murder in the April 28th shootout at the office of the Greenwood attorney Lee Abraham. The oncologist is accused of offering Kiara Bird $20,000 to kill Abraham. Smith has been indicted on a charge of capital murder for the death of Bird and charges of conspiracy to commit the crime. Abraham represented Smith's ex-wife in a divorce years ago. While well, the haunt is on for a drive-by shooter suspect, the identified target is 23-year-old Jesse Spellman. Now, police say on December 29th, Spellman firing shots from a tan Chevy Tahoe into the double quick on Highway 82. His alleged target, a person who he had a fight with earlier that morning at a local nightclub. Authorities say, thankfully, the alleged target or anyone else was not injured by the gunfire. However, the flying bullets striking a double quick window, a customer's car and causing damage to Napa Auto Parts store next door to the gas station. The U.S. Marshals have joined the search for Spellman. However, if you know of his whereabouts, you are urged to call Indianola Police at 662-887-1811. Well, over in Bolivar County, Cleveland Police alert citizens of a scam. Chief Buster Bingham telling ABC 6 News several citizens receiving telephone calls Calls from scammers. Now, the scammer telling individuals they have won a gift or a reward and must first pay a tax or fee to get their prize. Then they ask the victims for around $1,800 and a checking account number. Bingham says the area code of the scam calls is actually coming from 876, the area code of Jamaica, but the calls could be coming from anywhere in the world. Uh, if the, the victim that answers the phone is adamant about not sending in any money, then they get verbally abusive and sometimes they begin cursing or stating that uh, they're going to send a suicide bomber over to take them out or whatever. And it's scaring some people, although, you know, we know that's not going to happen. But at the same time, we want our citizens to be aware that, you know, this is a scam. Now, Chief Bingham says any legitimate prize or context would never ask for money up front. Now, Bingham offering the following tips to spot a scammer because, as you know, they can be somewhat extremely convincing. We need to first look at the area code from where the person is calling from. Now, in the Cleveland area, again, 876 area code is where the calls have been coming from. Now, if the caller has a Middle Eastern accent and asks for money and becomes threatening when you refuse to pay, it is a scam. Now, if you receive a scam call, Tell the caller you know it's a scam and then hang up. Contact the Cleveland Police Department at 662-843-3611. They are collecting reports to give to a federal agencies and you can help them prevent scams like these. Well, new water meters is the hot topic of a public forum in Greenville. Mayor John Cox is encouraging residents to come on out Tuesday to voice their concerns and ask questions about the new automated meter readers and issues about inaccurate readings. Now, the Water Department, Simons and Meter installation subcontractors will be joining the mayor. The meeting begins at 6 o'clock at the William Alexander Percy Library on Main Street. You've been watching the Delta's number one news source.